right, guys. As you guys can tell by the title of the video, it is time to get all the Verkline stuff in. Been waiting on this for weeks. Finally got dog hair in my mouth. Finally got all the rest of the parts from Verkline in. I ordered new bushings that I think are in here, and they sent me new top hats for the um, trailing arms because the top hat, they revised it to fit the Mark 8 and the, the S3. Uh, just a little revision and it. it's not really a big deal by any means but i wanted the one that's going to fit perfectly it's just a revision for um a plastic insert that holds um some arrow pieces on not a big deal but they said just pay for shipping and uh they'll send them to me so i opened up all the boxes i didn't like go into them yet so i got a nice little airhead that's nice powered by ecu master that's an interesting sticker put that I actually have a whole drawer here dedicated to just stickers so That'll go in there. Open this up. This is what I thought it was. So this right here are the bushings that go in the knuckle and the um, let me make some space here for the camera. The knuckle and the the wishbone, the arm that your spring sits on. So of course they're all wrapped. Super good. It's like you guys ever seen like people smuggle cocaine? This is like what they do and then swallow it. So it looks like. Ooh, they sent me another Brooklyn sticker. I have a whole sheet of stickers. I bet you everything in here is super wrapped up on this. Oh yeah. I forgot the day like they go crazy with the wrapping and shipping. So let me cut all this stuff off real quick and then I'll show you guys. All right. So right here is the revision they made. I said it's just like a little, little pop-in thing for Arrow. So that's actually pretty cool how they did it. So I'll show you guys and compare um, once I get mine off. And then these are the bushings. I had these before, but the subframe and stuff, well, all the old stuff I had, I sold with them in. I didn't want to press them back out and ruin them. So I just left them with uh, the rear end that I sold and bought new ones just to put in this car. So there's spherical bushings that uh, go basically on both ends of the, the arm that, that hold the spring and go with the wishbone. So two of them press into the the knuckle and then two into the side that meets the subframe and of course um called up shop dap ordered some parts from them we got um subframe hardware this is for the diff to connect to the subframe and then drive shaft everything else i can basically reuse and uh throw some loctite on so there's all that go back over here real quick god this stuff is so beautiful i should spray it off it's gonna get dirty anyway so First things first, we get the car jacked up, put on stands, get the wheels off, get the brakes off, get the um, the shocks out of the wishbones, get the drive shaft disconnected, get uh, the electrical components for the uh, what is it, the level sensor and the Haldex stuff off. Oh, and while we're in here, I actually have. Sorry guys, I'm kind of jumping all over the place. I have other parts waiting to go in the diff as well. Shout out to It's Not Stock. We got um, the Racing Line uh, magnetic drain kits for the diff and for the Haldex to put in as well while it's out. All right. Well, the exhaust is literally all 13s. 13s on the clamp, 13s on the little bar that goes across the tunnel, 13s on the mounts for the exhaust itself, and the other hanger back there. Just got to disconnect the. Uh, valves got a jack under there we'll bring this baby down pull her out probably shouldn't be doing this with a camera in my hand yeah i'm gonna put the camera down oh there's another mount let me as you guys can tell, this isn't a DIY by any means. I'm just kind of documenting the process here. So we got the wheels off. We got the covers for the uh, wishbones or lower control arm, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's two 10 mils that come up from the bottom. And you got these clips that hold it on. These, this little bit of arrow helps, I guess, with gas mileage and stuff. Got, uh, well, I need to grab the other side. The bolt for the shock out. Now we're about to get up under here. I got all the, like the electrical stuff disconnected for the brakes and ABS and all that. We're about to see how I have this zip tied here and where this goes. See, that's that revision on uh, the trailing arm I was talking about. So there's like a push lock type thing that pops in there um, to hold that. But I just 
drilled a couple holes, threw some zip ties on the line. It's it's been fun. Um, anyway, so we're about to cut all these zip ties here, and uh, there was like P clamps on these before, but they uh, they got really corroded. So I was like, yay, more zip ties, whatever. So we'll get out these four bolts on each side. We already got the shock out. We'll get the brake off. I'm gonna have the brake zip tie that to probably this or something else so I don't have to disconnect the brake line itself. Um, and you can see it's because it goes to the hard line there. We don't want to disconnect that. I have to bleed the brakes or anything. So once the, the trailing arm's off and the brake's off, um, we just have the drive shaft and then the subframe will come out. So maybe another 45 minutes or so, depending on how easy these brakes come off and everything. All right, guys, making tons of progress. Got the brake caliper hung up. The trailing arms are off on both sides. And the struts are off. Exhaust is out. Down, or uh, what's it called? Drive shaft is disconnected. I still need to go grab a Sharpie. And uh, cause you want to line this back up to the same one it was on before. So I'll put so like a dot here and a dot here. So I know to match these two back up. So I need to punch this uh, little connector hole out there and right here so we don't stretch that when we go to drop it. Um, yeah, I think all we got left is to drop the subframe. There's four big bolts and we'll get it down nice and slow. So we push the drive shaft back. We'll lower it and, and push it back a little bit more here and grab a jack stand to hold it up so it's not all limp. All right, guys, this should be it. It is almost six o'clock, right on time. I said, I wanna work on this car about six, 6.30 every day. I get home about four. That gives me about two, two and a half hours every day. And I think that'll be more than enough to get this done by Friday. Friday, I already have an alignment scheduled over at Euro Pros in Yorktown, Virginia. And we got all across on Sunday. So we got everything disconnected. I even took off the uh, level sensor just in case. Um, doesn't seem like anything's connected. I think just the uh, the strut is kind of snug in there. So this whole thing's like kind of, see that one's out. This one's not yet. So I need to force that one out. And then uh, we'll continue to lower this. I got the chair back there for the drive shaft, which is probably another reason it's still, uh, I need to push that back a little bit more. But I marked it so I know where to mate it back up. And I have everything nice and organized over there. I'm so hyped. All right, let's get this clip on here. Let's have to try and stick this forward a little bit. Off the drive shaft. I think my jacket's stuck on a rock. Come on, buddy. We are off the drive shaft. Just lower it down. Right, let's make sure the brake lines aren't getting caught up. Oh yeah, so brake lines do connect to the subframe, so we'll have to pop those off. A couple of spots. Somebody was just falling. Oh, I'll get back to this. So really, at this point, I need kind of need two people to do this, but because the subframe's angled so far back towards me, the trailing arms are getting caught on the body. What I'm trying to do here is get the foot under enough and angle it. Woo! Okay. Just enough. Oh, my foot's going to kind of be stuck under here for a moment. I need to be able to clear these shocks. Damn. Now my foot's like stuck under here. <laughs> Steal toes for the win. Babe! <laughs> okay. I got my foot out. I didn't need anybody's help. <laughs> I just lowered it all the way down. Now it clears the struts once I jam my foot out of there. Oh, yeah. There we go. This is record time for me. 
I probably started about 4.30, so like an hour and a half or so to get this out. Nice. You know, you guys can really see uh, where everything changes. Look at how like thin and crappy this is compared to the other one. The bushings in there, it's like this split style shitty boogie, <laughs> boogie, bushing. Look at your toe arm. Your toe arm is literally like, it's like, this isn't even like solid. This is just like stamped steel that's uh, it's like just pressed on the other side. If I can get the camera in there. I don't know, I can't see the screen, but this is like just crappy stuff. Um, the bushing in there is crappy. Where's the, the main one I wanted to show you guys? Um, oh yeah, where the springs, right in front of my face. So those spherical bushings are gonna go here and then the end up up there where it connects into the subframe, that bushing on both sides. Um, they're in the freezer right now. So I'll swing this on over here. We'll zap the control arms off, the um, toe arms off, and then right here, and then the arms that I will, the only arm I'm keeping is this one that goes over. And uh, you know, so we'll zap it out of there, get the, the toe arm out, disconnect it from here, disconnect the, uh, whatchamacallit, the diff, and then we'll pull the subframe and all arms off, set that to the side, because that's all going to Justin. He already picked up the rest of the stuff. And then we'll slide it, pretty much just slide the axles and everything up under this, connect these two, and then connect this one. That's where the other one goes. And uh, yeah, we'll be money. If I can get this swapped from here to here today, or at least get it off of there, I think that's where I'll call it quits. I'll just get it off of here, go shower, go eat, and then tomorrow we'll uh, attack getting it attached and doing those bushings. Gotta go run a bushing press kit, and then uh, Wednesday we'll install it all. Like it. All right, so we got the toe arms off, camber arms off, sway bar off, the um, subframe to wishbone hardware off. Next up should just be the subframe or the diff to the subframe, and then we can just kind of pull the subframe off of everything that's going to get kept. We got the old arms sitting over there. You get a closer look at how junk these are like these I could flex these with my hands so like you gotta think if I can flex it with my hands imagine the forces that your car is putting on this stuff while it's on the track your alignment is changing as you're going in to a corner and, and powering on and braking everything's flexing and messing up your alignment with the stuff that we're putting on uh, you can't see the bushings in here there's spherical bushings on these ends and you look I mean they're thick they are, I mean, you're not flexing these at all. Like, I, can't, I can barely even move this thing. This stuff is so great and so good. The whole rear end is going to be locked in. Alignment is not going to move ever. And uh, it's just great. I can't wait to get in. I should just be three more bolts, pull this crap off, and then I can call a night, get some grub. I'm exhausted. I haven't had a day off, really, in forever. I haven't been able to sleep in in ages. Work, 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 work. I can't wait till Saturday and I can sleep in. <laughs> All right. Well, I got everything off. Hopefully this isn't too complicated by myself. It seems pretty... The arms. I think the arms here are still kind of stuck in. Where did my... Losing things. Just the first time I was looking for. What's that?
Look at that. I did it, Mom. <laughs> Proud of myself.